Get ready for an uncommon experience in the presence of God. Be expectant and open up your heart as God's word comes to you this morning. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola Oshumakinde. of my heart God I look to you I won't be overwhelmed give me vision let me see just how you see God I look to you I won't be overwhelmed give me wisdom to know just what to say yeah yeah Help me know what to say at every time, Lord. Oh, and I will watch all that I say. And I will watch all that I say. And I will watch all that I say forever all my life. I will watch my words I will watch all that I say I will watch all that I say And I will watch all that I say Forever all my life I will watch my words Forever Hello, welcome to Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. Jesus is Lord, God bless you. Thank you, wherever you are watching us from, you're on the road or wherever you're hearing us from, Jesus loves you and this is wonderful, hallelujah. Let's pray and thank God for today. Father, we give you praise, we thank you. Lift up your hands wherever you are, give him all the glory. Thank him for his mercy over your life over your family. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his grace upon your life. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We worship you. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus, we praise your name. We ask, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you speak to us from your word this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This morning, I want to speak to you about something very wonderful, which is rejoice always. Hallelujah. You know, <laughs> joy is one of the fruits of the Spirit. There might be many things going wrong, things you don't like the way they are going, but remember, the Bible says, Philippians 4.4, 4, I say unto you rejoice, I say it again, rejoice. The joy that we have, does not depend on what is going on on the outside. Hallelujah. It's an instruction from the Bible that we must rejoice at all times. Joy for a believer is kind of inner strength. The Bible said the joy of the Lord is your strength. I remember this story in the Word of God. In Acts chapter 16, about Paul and Silas. This is a very popular story. They were arrested for preaching the gospel. They were beaten. They were uncovered. And then they were imprisoned. But the Bible says in the night, oh, glory to God. It's a wonderful thing when you have gone into a place where nothing can break your joy. 
when the garment of praise is on you constantly, there is nothing that you cannot recover as you rejoice before your heavenly Father. Giving praise to God should be our lifestyle. Not only, be, not even because we want something necessarily from God, but we praise the beauty of His holiness. We praise the finished work on the cross at all times. David said, His praise will continually be in my mouth. Paul and Silas, in the midst of all the wounds inflicted on them, in that dark prison house, which might represent someone's situation, they got up and they began to praise God. And then, of course, there was earthquake. But there is a story in the Bible that I love so much. In 2 Samuel chapter 12, David had slept with Bathsheba and he committed sin, sin of adultery. And then Bathsheba gave birth to his son and his son became sick because of the judgments of God. And the child was so sick that David began to fast, fasted for days. But the child died. Because the elders in his house saw how he fasted. They couldn't even dare to tell him that the child had died. Because they were like, when the child was alive, he was almost killed himself. They thought he was going to do something drastic, something unusual. But when they told David finally that the child was dead, he went to wash himself, he got up and he went to the house of God to praise God. He confused the elders. They never expected that. You know, there's nothing wrong with crying when you lose someone dear to you. The Bible gives room for that. The Bible says weep with those who weep. So there's nothing wrong. However, don't push it too far to the point that you are demoralized. You don't want to talk to God again. I believe by the Spirit, I am speaking to somebody right now. You are going through a very, very terrible moment. Maybe you've lost somebody and the pain is unbearable. Maybe you've been cheated by some people in life. Maybe there are pains that you can't even dare mention to anybody. You see, the Bible did not say you should, you should rejoice because everything is fine. No, in spite of everything, can you still lift up your hands and thank God? Not for the fact that he brought those things. No, he didn't bring them, but that he is still God no matter what. This is the attitude of a Christian, of a believer to everything. David shocked those men. His child died. He still went to worship God. Can you praise him after losing a contract? Can you praise him? When somebody has walked away from you, can you praise him? When you have missed a big opportunity, or you are going to live through life regretting it and complaining about it every day, becoming resentful, becoming angry, becoming bitter, is that what you want to do? All your decision will be, I will praise him no matter what. I choose to give God praise. I pray that the garment of praise will come on you. And that you will rejoice at least in your salvation at all times. That you will rejoice even when things don't look fine on the outside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will be a testimony to people around you that you have found something bigger than what is visible to rejoice at all times. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank God for your life. It's going to be your most wonderful week. You will experience God's blessing like never before. His goodness will be seen in your life. Till I come your way again, this is a beautiful Monday morning, and I'm saying to you, God is good and His mercy endures forever. God bless you.